Thank you, Lars Klankhorle, and uh, I welcome the opportunity to contribute to the debate this morning on the Valuation Bill 2014, and I would like to uh, take this opportunity to commend Deputy Cowan for bringing it forward and bringing it before the House. Um, as has been outlined, the Bill uh, wants to ch change this, seek a change to the Valuation Act 2001 to allow for sporting clubs to have only the um, licensed premises element of their building valued for, for rates purposes and to achieve that. Um, there's no doubt, I think, that the, the, the work that sporting clubs do all around the country, and it has been very well expressed by other deputies here in their contributions and the importance and the value that they, they play in our, in our own communities. And also the fact that they, in all cases, I would say that the operation of a bar on the premises is not uh, with the purpose of generating profit for profit's sake, but with, with the purpose of generating funds to actually allow the club to continue on with the work it's doing and to um, support the activities of the club in terms of underage teams, um, sporting equipment, and ease the burden on the local community in terms of running the club and keeping the club going. And I think that's important and does need to, does need to be recognised. It's actually, it's, it's interesting to see how such a simple act and so, an act of trying to achieve such a simple thing, um, so many barriers can be put in place of it through technical difficulties and the mention of unintended consequences. Um, and it just, I just wonder, does it signify that there is a real will to actually deal with this issue and to actually um, amend the Valuation Act in order to allow the, what the intent, intent of this bill to actually be achieved? Um, and I also wonder why the bill has been accepted, whether or how quickly it will be able to go into committee stage and whether the department will actually facilitate committee stage taking place in relation to the, to the bill to allow the issues that, are, that are, have been highlighted to be able to be teased out and, and possibly addressed um, through the passing of the legislation. So that's something that will be interesting to see, just to, to see how long the, this bill will sit waiting for a committee stage and how that how the government will respond in terms of dealing with the, the issues that have been identified and actually um, coming up with solutions in terms of <coughs> of providing for them um, just in general terms in relation to the valuation act i wonder i wonder would it be possible or would it be uh, feasible it seems in my mind it would be while there may be so many difficulties as has been outlined by the minister in his contribution in terms of actually changing how um, licensed premises are valued within the commercial or within the cl overall clubhouses and the buildings of clubs and that I do believe that the local authorities should be given a, a greater role in terms of valuations within their, their administrative areas, and this could be something that could be teased out and worked out in, t in relation to sporting clubs, where local authorities, rather than having to deal with whether what would be valued and what wouldn't be valued and how, what value would be put on it, but that local authorities would actually be given some powers to actually not collect the amount of the valuation, recognising the contribution that local sports clubs make in their, in their counties and in their administrative areas, and a, a legal mechanism that where a valuation may be of a certain amount, that the local authority would actually, by resolution, decide to only collect a percentage of it, um, which would achieve the same aim and might, n might not have the same technical difficulties that the, the minister has outlined. Um, I, I note in his contribution he said that that's a similar type system operates in the six counties um, and that the, the this would not be something that we'd like to see here but I think it's something that would give an option and would give uh, a way of clubs being valued and being recognized within their local authority areas and it may not have the same technical and legal difficulties that the minister has outlined uh, in relation to the evaluations office and the work that they carry out. And I think in general principle uh, there should be a role for local authorities in terms of valuations across their, their areas where in order to facilitate business or to stimulate activity there should be some discretion there. Um, local authorities once the building is valued are legally obliged to collect the, the amount of the valuation and don't have a legal mechanism in terms to be able to waive the, uh, any portion of it and it, it, if it's if it's not collected, even even though businesses might be in difficulty and can't afford to pay the full amount, it still accrues as a debt against the business. Um, so I think on a wider basis, local authorities should be able to stimulate activity in their areas, should be able to operate a system where whereby they can reduce 
the amount that they actually collect while the valuation wouldn't change on the premises. And then if, if a, a business folded and closed and a new business came in that had the potential to be more profitable, the amount that of the actual valuation could be collected in that case as well. And I think it would be important in terms for local authorities in terms of building up their, their possibly their competitiveness and enticements to get business to um, open up in their areas and to try and and ensure that they get some economic development as well. Uh, so in conclusion, last thing, Corda, I just want to say that I support this bill and I hope that this bill doesn't languish at committee stage and run out of, run out of time as this government um, comes to an end and, and th that, that we won't see a resolution to this issue. And I think that the technical difficulties can be dealt with and they can be teased out and dealt with at committee stage if there's a will within the department to, to make that happen. Um,